so this is Tattoo Teddy Piercer. I'm going to get on here real quick and kind of touch base and answer some questions for those who are aware of my situation and for those who don't have an under will have an understanding of my situation. Um, as of now, um, we're in what, May, almost June? Come next month, it would be fundamentally a year that I've been associated in the tattoo world. Um, this August, it would be a year that I've actually been behind the machine as a tattoo artist. Um, as of now, I no longer work for a shop. Um, I was with uh, one company out of downtown uh, Goldsboro Street here in Wilson, North Carolina. Um, I had some birdies in my ear. You can understand a little bit myself. I have definitely immature tendencies, and I let people get in my head. And for that, that's what happened is I let somebody tell me about money, 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 and I got selfish and I got greedy. And I listened to that person, and I ended up burning bridges and leaving the very first shop where I was an apprentice and got started. Um, the second shop, uh, the person who lied to me, I was there for less than a month. He lied to me since day one. Um, I was told I was going to be on salary, $100 a, a week. Uh, that happened for a few few weeks, and then it was cut off, and then that's when the shit happened. I was doing tattoos. Um, he knew um, how well I was as a tattoo artist. Mind you, I have less than a year behind the machine experience. This is an art form. It takes time to learn how to do it. I'm an artist. I can draw on paper. Not a problem. But to implement that on skin, it's a completely different environment, different situation, and it is much different and thus harder. So, um, first hand was good. I, I was, you know, it's still green. It's still new. So, at that point, I had majority of my, when I left the second shop, um, I had majority of like, probably 60% of all my machines and my cups and my inks and my... You know, my clean supplies in general were, were all stolen so I'm now at a point where I hardly have anything um, so I need to rebuy everything um, at this moment because uh, I, what happened is I burned a bridge here in Wilson I probably most likely black black ball blacklisted will not work be able to work for any company here or any tattoo shop here in Wilson so I'm in the in a rut, I'm debating what I should do, what I can do, what I can do. Uh, the first thought is I still want to tattoo, which means I'll be most likely tattooing my home. A lot of tattoo artists, I'm sure right now you're thinking, oh, that's the worst thing ever. I've been licensed two times over, permitted two times over, so I know the cleaning procedure, I know how to clean, I know how to be in a shop. The last shop, um, before all the drama started, I was a shop manager. So cleaning wise and all whatnot, paperwork and all that, I do know how to do it. Again, saying reiterating, I was permitted two times over. So um, I really don't want a tattoo out of my house because I know how unsafe and unclean it is. So now what I'm thinking about doing is getting my own shop. Um, don't let that mislead you specifically. What I mean is a little shed shop. Here in the Carolinas where I live, almost every house has a shed shop. You know, it's different diameters I think 60 by 24 or so something you know just 24 by 30 or 60 by whatever 100 by 80 you know um, different uh, size ranges and all. I'm thinking about getting something like that have plumbing installed in it because you do definitely need a, a, a sink and all and just have my own shop so that is what I'm definitely considering doing in order to do that because I work at Walmart don't make a lot of money um, I am thinking about getting some grants and loans, and uh, spe more specifically, Native American grants and loans. See so, yeah, how that works out. So, I just watched a video, and basically, the lady was saying, you know, don't tattoo your house, it's dirty, it's infections, and hepatitis. And the, you know, the last shop I was at, um, the dude didn't clean up that well, anyways, and he used it was dirty, and it wasn't filthy, but it was definitely not clean, you know. So, I've been in two shops, the first one was really clean. The second one, not so much, but still you get clients. And he was able to pass inspection through the health department. So, you know, I know t uh, scratchers is what they call them. I'm definitely not a scratcher. I've been permitted two times over, so I, I'm not a scratcher. And I don't think I ever can be, which is fine. But my experience level, it takes time. You know, if you've only been doing it for six months to a year, you're going to be really green, you know, really learning. Uh, line work is definitely going to be the most important thing you could do. So what I'm doing is I'm um, installing baby steps, trying to get myself implemented. And if it means I have to have my own shop, I'm fine with that. I'll be my own boss and have my own hours. 
and do what I got to do because I love tattooing and nobody's going to tell me I can't do it and more importantly nobody's going to tell me that I'm not good enough because I know I am. I know I got skills and I know I definitely have clients who would be willing to come to my house or even more, furthermore to a shop after I get it situated. The goal set for that is to, it's now 2019. Um, definitely want to start everything in 2020. 2022 is when I'm going to push it and I'm going to make it. So in the span of three years, I'm going to have my own shop and I'm going to do this. And for all those who uh, said I couldn't do it, I'm nothing more than whatever, you know, chuck you, man. You ain't nothing. And I'll show you because I will become something. I know I have what it takes to do it and I'm going to do it. Um, first time around, the first person I worked for, I burned bridges and I screwed you. And I didn't mean to. But hey, you're subject, you know, what you do. No pity for self inflected. Second one you and I hope you burn for what all you've done lie to me and stealing my stuff you're definitely trash but anyway this is going on with me I'm not going nowhere so here soon fangers because the whole vampire thing vampire thing I was involved with and uh, and also getting a uh, professional wrestling I took a year off I'm gonna jump back into it so Vampire Mikai, the owner of uh, Fingers Tattoo and Body Piercings, I'm coming back. And a whole new shade on this gimmick. It's going to be beautiful. Not only will I be pretty much the only vampire here, but I'll be the only vampire tattooers. <laughs> All right, people. Laters.